Oh dear, I did read the report, but because you guys are relentless, I will read it again for you. Detective Bethany Stubbs investigation report. On February 22nd, 2024, Conway police officers were made aware of an abuse report. After reviewing photographs of Juvenile One's injuries, I then began conducting interviews with close family members that were originally on scene on February 22nd, 2024. While interviewing the family, they provided me with a ring doorbell camera view video of Allison Fries. In the video, Allison can be heard and seen being confronted by her brother, the juvenile's uncle, about Zachary and Allison making the children kneel on a pan of rice and being spanked. In the video, Allison can be heard acknowledging that juvenile one was spanked and made to kneel on rice. After reviewing the video, I commuted to juvenile one's school to speak with her. While at the school, juvenile one confirmed that on Wednesday night, February 21st, 2024, she was punished by Zachary Freese, her stepdad, by being spanked roughly eight times times with a belt on her butt in lower butt upper thigh area and forced to kneel on a pan of rice while in the kitchen. Juvenile one stated that kneeling on rice hurts and is painful and described the pain as her knees being on fire and feeling as if someone was poking all over her knees with two picks and something sharp. Juvenile one stated that sometimes the pain level depends on the amount of rice they're being required to kneel on. Juvenile one described the spankings on February 21st as a level nine on a scale from one to 10 being the least severe and excuse me, one being the least severe and 10 being the most severe. Juvenile one stated she knew there would be bruises on her where she was spanked because there were always bruises after spankings. Juvenile one mentioned that the first time she remembered being punished by kneeling on rice, she kneeled on rice for roughly 15, but sometimes it goes to 30 minutes. Juvenile one explained that her mother, Allison, was not worried nor phased by juvenile one kneeling on rice because Allison has seen the children all being punished by being forced to kneel on rice a few weeks prior to February 21st, 2024. Juvenile One explained that when Zachary and Allison were living apart, Allison contacted Zachary to come where she and the children lived so that he could discipline the children by having the children kneel on a pan of rice. After speaking with Juvenile One at length, Juvenile Two, Juvenile Three, and Juvenile Four were transported to the Child Advocacy Center, CAC, for forensic interviews to be conducted. Juvenile 4, 11 years old female, was in the interview. Juvenile 4 disclosed that she had been punished by her father, Zachary Fries, by being forced to kneel on a pan of rice for roughly 10 to 20 minutes. Juvenile 4 disclosed that she was punished with kneeling in a pan of rice two separate times during the weekend of the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, February 9th to February 11th, 2024. Juvenile 4 described the pain from kneeling in the rice as hurting and a bunch of rocks. Juvenile 4 stated that she would get up from kneeling in the rice. She would have rice stuck to her skin and marks on her skin from pieces of rice being stuck. Juvenile 4 confirmed that all four children have been punished by being forced to kneel in a pan of rice multiple times. Juvenile 4 also confirmed that her mother, Allison Fries, agreed to this punishment and on multiple occasions witnessed the children kneeling on a pan of rice. Juvenile 4 described Juvenile 1 as being bent over with her hands and knees on the floor while getting spanked by Zachary Fries. Juvenile 2 confirmed that Juvenile 1 was spanked multiple times and had to kneel on a pan of rice on the night of February 21st, 2024. Juvenile 2 stated that his dad, Zachary Fries, was hitting Juvenile 1 in the lower back and legs with a belt while spanking Juvenile 1. Juvenile 2 described that he has also been punished by being forced to kneel on a pan of uncooked rice. Juvenile 2 described the pain of kneeling on the rice as burning and the lower portion of his legs quaking and eventually being unable to fill his legs. Juvenile 2 stated that the rice leaves dents in his knees that eventually go away. Juvenile 3 also confirmed that Juvenile 1 was spanked multiple times and had to kneel on a pan of rice for roughly 25 to 30 minutes on the night of February 21st, 2024. Juvenile 3 stated that Zachary was yelling at Juvenile 1 while spanking Juvenile 1. Juvenile 3 was asked about kneeling on a pan of rice. Juvenile 3 explained that kneeling on the floor did not affect them the way that was teaching them a lesson. Therefore, Zachary began making the children kneel on rice for roughly 20 minutes to teach them a lesson. Juvenile 3 explained that he has also been punished by being forced to kneel on a pan of rice. Juvenile 3 explained that kneeling on a pan of rice is painful and difficult to stand up.
afterwards and leaves indentations in the skin. Juvenile 3 confirmed that Allison came home to find Juvenile 1 kneeling on a pan of rice. And after Allison asked what happened, Allison made the comment about Juvenile 1 knowing not to do what she did. Allison Freese and Zachary Freese were taken into custody on February 28, 2024. This was provided to the prosecutor's office for a 60-day review. I swear the allegations contained therein are the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Then Detective Hannah Sayers investigation supplement on february 28th 2024 i was advised that i was going to assist detective stube with the investigation regarding excessive punishment i was informed of the brief synopsis of details and the determination was made to speak with juvenile one first due to juvenile one being 17 years old and me being a certified forensic interviewer i was confident that the interview could be conducted thoroughly and more effectively by myself and detective stube Detective Stube and I then made contact with Juvenile 1 at school and we were placed in a separate room from other students being able to see us. I then initiated a body-worn camera and we introduced ourselves to Juvenile 1. During the interview, Juvenile 1 advised that she initially lied about what happened to her, but when, we, when she would provide the same details as before. Juvenile 1 described the most recent incident as being on Wednesday, February 21st. Juvenile 1 explained physical punishment in her home is being spanked with a belt or being forced to kneel on rice for, an ex for extended periods of time. Juvenile 1 advised that she initially described the time as being an hour and a half to make it sound worse, but it was actually just 15 to 30 minutes. Juvenile 1 advised that the pain from kneeling on rice was very painful and it that it felt like her knees were burning. Juvenile 1 advised this punishment has occurred to all of her siblings on multiple occasions, as well as her youngest sister, who is 11 years old, Juvenile 4. Juvenile 1 described the feeling, feeling thoughts of wanting to unalive herself after the most recent incident and that she was spanked approximately eight times and knelt on rice. She went into her room and felt like it was all her fault. I then read through emails between Juvenile 1 and her friends at school on the night of February 21st. Juvenile 1 was expressing that she was quote unquote beat by her dad and that she and that he was threatening to continue to beat her. February, uh, sorry. Juvenile 1 also emailed that she was not safe at her home and needed help. After we deemed it necessary to transport the three younger children to the Child Advocacy Center for interviews, Allison Fries came to the police department very upset after speaking with two supervisors. Allison left the, depart the police department. Once further information was provided by the children to the in the forensic interviews, the decision was made to ask Allison and Zachary to come to the police department to speak with us. A short time after, Allison and Zachary willingly walked into the police department and sat in the soft interview room together. During my overall knowledge of the case, I, excuse me, due to my overall knowledge of the case, I conducted the interview of the Freese parents. During the interview, Zachary explained how when he was a child, he was made to kneel on rice as a punishment. Zachary described the feeling as uncomfortable but not painful. Zachary advised that having the kids just stand on their knees did not work so he had to do something else Zachary described himself as and the as the enforcer parent comparative to Allison who just could not do it Allison advised she would come home from work and the kids would be kneeling on rice but the punishments generally began prior to her getting home during their separation Allison advised she would have to call Zachary to come to the house to punish the kids because they would not listen to her Zachary also explained uh spankings with a belt as punishment i asked zachary how many times juvenile four had been spanked with a belt and he began to answer allison said she never gets in trouble zachary looked at allison and appeared to know that was not true i asked about how many times the kids have had to know on rice and zachary advised the following approximations juvenile one two times juvenile two two times juvenile three four times in juvenile four one time zachary was Always very responsive and intentional in his responses to questions until I asked him what the children's demeanors were when they knelt on, uh, kneel on rice or yet spanking. Zachary repeated the questions and positioned his face in a motion consistent with confusion. I then rephrased the questions. I asked Zachary what the children would do uh, during the spankings and he advised that they would not even cry based on severe uh, bruising visible on juvenile one. As well as her statement of crying, this was not consistent. Zachary admitted to using a belt looped while he was holding both ends. Zachary described swinging over his shoulder 
an average of six times any time the children would get spankings. During the interview, Allison would describe all of her children as liars and that they just would not listen. At no point did Allison say a single good thing about any of her four children. Allison displayed no remorse or conviction when I was explaining the injuries to her daughter, Juvenile One, that were caused by Zachary at his own admission. At one point, Allison used the word fat to describe her son, Juvenile Two. Allison also began to explain that the children were only ever made to kneel on rice for approximately 15 minutes because if they were on her floor for any longer, she would be annoyed. Allison advised that she was unaware that the punishments they were doing were not appropriate, and Zachary advised that they were previously told by their lawyer in 2021 that he should not be spanking the older children. Allison disagreed, but Zachary was adamant. So now that I wasted everyone's time reading that, let's go back to what you were saying about how Juvenile One lied and how she put makeup on as bruises. I don't care what Juvenile One said. If Juvenile One, a 17-year-old, thought that she had to embellish in order to get out of the home that she was in, so be it. I'm going solely based on what Zachary and Allison themselves said. Allison, as the police report said, never said a good thing about any of her four children. She described one of her children as fat. She said that they were all liars and that they would only be on her floor for 15 minutes because other than that, she would be annoyed, annoyed. A mom who couldn't bother to even discipline her own children and had to call somebody else that was completely uninvolved to come do it for her. And Zachary admitted to spanking the children six times at a time. Six times he is what he said. Juvenile one said eight times. Either way, a grown man doesn't have any business spanking a 17-year-old girl. Or a 17-year-old boy for that matter. But a 17-year-old getting down on her hands and knees so that he can spank her with a belt by lifting it up past his shoulder and then swinging down. Are you out of your mind? And trust me, this isn't just directed to you. This is for all the people that want to mention that Juvenile 1 was dishonest in what she said. Ignore all of that and go just based on what Zachary and Allison said themselves. And I don't understand how you can come to any other conclusion than that these children were in an abusive home. Zachary admitted to spanking the children. Zachary admitted to making the children kneel on rice. Zachary admitted to things when Allison sat there and even denied them. Zachary said that their attorney advised them three years ago that he shouldn't be spanking the older children. Three years ago. It, we're three years later and he's still doing it because Allison wants it done. So if you can look past Anything that you believe about Juvenile 1 or any of the other juveniles and just look at what the parents themselves admitted to, then I think that we could all probably agree that the kids were being abused. And if not, I mean, we're all free to have our own opinion. It's okay for you to be wrong, but I don't think that we need to run down the juvenile because really, whether you think that she was dishonest or honest and what she said, it's neither here nor there because it's what they said.